baseball is live and on the air on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Kansas City Royals and the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. And now, please welcome your Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Jake Kalish, a southpaw from New Jersey, gets the starting gig in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. With Merrifield next to bat, he will lead this one off today. First pitch on its way. Now a drive out to left center field. And the Royals are going to get a man into scoring position right away on the leadoff double. Man, I don't think he could have bisected those fielders any better if he tried. Drove that one into the alley for a gaffer that'll bring him easily into second base. So now Carlos Santana. Flare out toward right center. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. And the go ahead run will move up to third and wisely hold there with nobody out. Hey, not a great start for the pitcher right here. Started off with a double. Now add in a single. And one of your middle of the order bats is coming to the dish. Man, I don't think this was the start he was imagining warming up in the bullpen. Swung on and belted to left by Perez. This one's deep. Gone! A three-run shot down the line in left, and the Royals have moved out to a three-to-nothing lead. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smelled blood in the water, and they punctuated with a three-run job and an early lead. In is Jorge Soler. Jorge. Line drive, fair ball down the line. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. When he started this game, giving up three extra base hits in the opening frame was not what he had in mind. He could still settle down and turn things around on the mound, but the way it's going right now, this has the makings of a start he's going to want to forget. Hunter Dozier digging in now. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Well, this doesn't have the makings of a start he's going to be proud of, does it? He's getting absolutely pounded here in the first inning, and I would think they're not going to let this go on for much longer. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. And he hits it hard to the right side. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. And the second runner will stop at third. And they're at the corners now with nobody out. That's just your classic ribby knock right there, Dan. He's able to turn on the pitch he wanted right there and drive it into the outfield. Good job getting the barrel to the ball right there, able to get that one through and picks up an RBI. Hard hit and a well-deserved run batted in. At the plate now, Michael Taylor. Oh one, here's the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Four runs here in this half inning. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Cancel onto the grass. He can't get there as it falls in. And he is in there. It's only the first inning, so you hate to say this, but this thing might already be over. Down five in the first. They've got to get the car back onto the road, even if the wheels are a little loose and wobbly. And 
And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. Swing and a line drive to left. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, there's a the long drive time. bullet Mickey. off the wall right there, but the Low outfielder threat. does a really good job, b -Row, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there, not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, d -Row, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. Here comes the 0-1. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Not a good at bat from him so far. He's got the bases loaded out there, but he's been way too aggressive, chasing the first two pitches way out of the zone. He should be sitting. One run is scored. As he arrives at second without a play, as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Man, the hit parade continues. It's not an easy thing to do in professional baseball. It doesn't seem like this inning's going to ever stop. Right now, they've already scored seven runs. With Merrifield next to hit. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. You know, D-Ro, hitting in the leadoff spot, you're not going to get very many opportunities to drive in some runs, but that's a big two RBI base hit. Yeah, when you see ducks on the pond, Dan, your eyes light up. I don't care if you're hitting first in the lineup or eighth in the lineup. You grind out in that bat and try and get the runs on the board for your team. Here's Carlos Santana now. Swing and a liner. In there, a base hit. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody now, wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. And up steps Salvador Perez. Pitch popped up. Castellano is there, and he's got it for the first down. Now batting the designated hitter, Jorge Soler. So here's the Royals DH Jorge Soler. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Yeah it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. Matias is right there as he takes it for the second out. And he'll go ahead and take third on the fly ball to right. So he's 90 feet away now with two men gone. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. And they're runners at the corners now into the corner and slicing foul a long inning as they've hung a nine spot on him to this point swing and a liner but the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out but not before they hang a nine spot on him here to really open up this ball game we'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one Royals out in front nine to nothing Danny Duffy is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Kansas City. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Into the box, Dyron Blanco. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. First offering. A swing and a ground ball to third. He's got a hurry. Throw on to first in time, one away. Batting second, the third baseman, Angelo. Castellano. Now to bat, Angelo Castellano. First pitch coming, here it is. Grounded to third. Dozier picks it up. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. 
batting third. That'll bring in Bobby Let's Witt Jr. No Bobby. one aboard for him, and Witt two gone here in the first. Junior. And the pitch. Swing and a liner. And Ben Intendi's got it to end the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. One inning in the books here. The Royals are on top, nine to nothing. Digging in now for Kansas City, Andrew Benintendi. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Andrew Benintendi. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Benintendi has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses. But with him, there's no denying it. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow when the pressure is on. Yeah, Matty, he has definitely put that debate to rest. He has absolute ice water in his veins. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. In now, Michael Taylor. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now that Digging in will be Hanser base. Alberto. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. Royals leave one, but they hold a 9-0 lead. So now here is Travis Jones. Leading He's set to lead off the home half the of the second. Baseman. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and that drove it into the outfield the for right a base field. hit. Sule. Let's see it. So now to the plate, Sully Matias, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left and they're now on the board though still well behind. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs so I'm sure that'll be a wake up call and he'll start throwing some better pitches. To the plate now, Brady McConnell, as the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Swing and a liner. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Batting seven. 
the catcher, Nate Esposito. Next, it'll be Nate Esposito. First pitch on the way. The 0 1 lifted down the line and left. Bases are empty, one man out. And another foul ball. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. A dive, but it's off his glove. Batting eight, the left fielder, Anderson Miller. Into the box, Anderson Miller. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Now a reach, but this gets past him and right, and this ought to be extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone, and, and that's exactly what he gets right here. Second a belt-high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. Into the box now, Gabriel Cancel. On the line, that's a base hit into left field. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at the deficit. Boy, he had to be sitting now on a fastball deal right field. there because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you can tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of hit. At the plate, Dyron Blanco. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Rip down the line. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. In to score, the runner from third. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Now batting, third baseman, Angelo. Castellano. Standing in now, Angelo Castellano. Now a swinging bunt. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Ready with the 0-2. And a swing and here's another big drive as this ball sent high and deep to left center field. And the long ball will burn him for the second time in the inning. Another home run. So a three run shot to left center as this lead has been sliced down to two. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. At the plate now, Bobby Witt Jr. as he hits one on a line to left field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Stepping in now, Travis Jones skied into straightaway right. Merrifield is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. And a great inning for him there as they push seven runs across the plate to make this a game again. We played two full. The Royals lead it 9 7. Stepping up is Whit Merrifield. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. The right fielder, number 15. First offering on its way. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. 
So bases are empty with one out now and that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game Carlos Santana. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. So two away here in the Kansas City third. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. And that one yanked just foul. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game as they jump ahead by three. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. In now, Jorge Soler. Jorge. Short, hit hard. And that finds its way through for a base hit. I'm not sure what else the manager or pitching coach need to see, Matt. He obviously doesn't have his best stuff. And the longer he stays out there, the bigger the hole he digs. Into the box now, Hunter Dozier. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Matias is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. But a run for the Royals here in the inning, and it came on this home run. Bottom of the third coming up. Royals out in front, 10-7. Ready now is Sully Matias. Two RBIs already, looking for more here. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bat, so there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. First pitch of the AB on its way. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. Into the box, Brady McConnell, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. second nobody out a little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2 lifted down the line in left Ben has got it and there's one away and the runner not tagging will retreat to second base the catcher, number at the plate 17. now is Nate Esposito Nate. Now here's the first offering. Here comes the 0-1. One out and a runner on second base. Lifted in the air out to center field. Taylor is there and he makes the catch for the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The battle. Stepping in the once again is Anderson, Anderson Miller, Miller, runner in scoring position with two guns. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Down the right field line. He pulls into second safely as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Gabriel. Gabriel. to the plate now Gabriel Cancel he grounds it sharply to third Dozier scoops it up on to first and that's your ball game hey this was a great three inning game with a lot of action 
very rarely in a short abbreviated game do you get to see a slugfest like we were able to watch today. This one wraps up as a 10 8 final the Kansas City Royals jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Danny Duffy earns the victory on the mound. Jake Kalish was absolutely hammered to the tune of 10 earned runs as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com.